good day my people good day everyone it depends where you are watching from we are back on air on nigerian insider today's topic is all about matters arising from nigeria you know so everybody is allowed to join please like the video share it invite others to take part on today's discussion so um, today we have in our miss mr sunday oh sunday and mr chema um a e. chema my brothers welcome to today's program yeah thank you my brother thank you good evening and good afternoon and good morning depending on where you're hearing us from okay so sunday today is your day you have to <laughs> Bala yeah. <laughs> so go ahead. Yeah, uh, good. Yeah, good afternoon, the the viewers who, who are listening to us all over the world. Today we'll be going. We are going to discuss so many things, but there are many, but we cannot finish all today. But we we we'll try to deal with the important issues. You know, first of all, I would like us to talk about experience because. When you, when the, the way things are going in Nigeria now, you know, there are so many young people who are still as parents, governorship as parent, presidential as parent, and so many are on. So, and these people, they are young. But around this country now in Nigeria, you know, some youth believe that these people are, they are not qualified because they don't have the experience. So today, I would like us to talk about this experience. Why many people say that the youth who are coming out for political position, why they say they are, they don't have the experience, they are incapable, especially the position of president. They say that the youth does not have the capability to, to, to become Nigerian president. So, uh, my brother Zebedi, I would like you to, can you clarify me in that? And Nigerians. <laughs> okay, thank you, my brother. Um, actually, you know, let me refer to the former president of the United States, um, Barack Obama. You know, um, yeah. You know, most of the things that normally happen in the political arena um, is a little bit strange because. Um, I will use the word that the, the ones, the elites that are ruling Nigeria already, the love, they always catch fear when something new is about to happen. Whenever people that they don't know, people that are, um, um, are um, strangers in terms of Nigerian political affairs, whenever they are picking interest in getting involved, they catch fever and they would like to use the word experience to try to devalue the capability of the youths. Um, Clinton used that system to try to counter Obama, that Obama doesn't have experience on international affairs, um, how to run a state, how to manage the affairs of a country. But Obama made a very powerful speech by saying that, I don't have experience today, but I'm ready and willing to learn. And our, um, a country is not built by one person, that those who has experience and the ones that doesn't have experience got to work as one to move the nation forward. Becoming president doesn't mean that they will, every affairs and everything got to be um, hung on your neck. Um, you will have those that will help you that is ready to work with any um, um, body and uh, entities that are ready and willing to move the nation forward. So if you look at what happened in U.S. election and, um, and the government of Obama, it's one of the best in the United States, you know. So in the terms of Nigeria, the youths that are coming out to partake or uh, to participate is, is, is the best way to move the nation forward. That's the only way to, to make the, the, the people uh, understand that the power doesn't belong to the least. The power doesn't belong to one side. The power is open to all, you know. But using the, 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 the slogan of um, the youth are not experienced and whatever, nobody, nobody have experience before you become president. Nobody. 
you know um you you um, the more you govern the more you you serve your people is the more experience you developed and there are those like permanent secretaries of of, of the state and a lot of people that have been in power for a very long time that will lecture the current young president that look at the affairs look at how things have been managed then it left for that person to design his own foreign policy how he should how he's going to manage his own country and um, look at the current president of nigeria let me give you an example the current president that is ruling nigeria the time our president was ruling nigeria before the president of france of today is three years old and nobody believed that that the the boy that is three years old today or, or by that time will still stand as a president of france and still meeting the person that was ruling his nation when he was three years do you if you try to compare the two this one is young he have never come across the um, 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 presidential um, um, arena before but he's the one moving france forward with good idea new brand and the current president of nigeria he's met his mates in, 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 in advanced world are, are, are in, in, in um, 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 what they call it in, in, in English. Um, in, in German, they call it Artesheim. That means uh, in Kiev, we, we it's, it's like a home Kiev. He's retired. Take, he's retired and uh, he's, he's in, he's, he will be living in home Kiev where, where people will be taking care of people like him. Look at our president. He's sick. Every day he goes to, um, um, he travels to London to, to treat himself. And then, um, 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 as so if I, if I understand you, yes, if I understand you very well, your point experience does not matter in politics. Uh, that from uh, at the beginning, it's, it's not, it's not an issue. Okay, so I would like to hear from Chima. Chima, what do you think about, uh, about it? Are you? Yeah, what I have to say concerning that is, let's go back to the history. How many years was Gowan when he governed Nigeria before the Civil War, even after with the Civil War, even after the Civil War? I don't think he was up to 40 when he was president of Nigeria. So the um, issue of youth or not use is not an issue. They just want to use that as an excuse. Because they know normally they know they know that they know that the you uh, or the elderly people know that what the, the way they govern that country is not in order again. It is not the way they're supposed to govern the country. So they are using that excuse to divide youth. And if you look at the youths now, mainly youth from the north, north, they buy that idea. I remember last time we we we, we talk we talk about in in this program. I told you people that if I remember, if you could remember the, the guy, he was among those that uh, movement for the uh, that that, uh, that fight for the uh, implementation of the law by the National Assembly for the not young uh, not young to run. He made one statement earlier. He said, "This is the time for youth to take mantle, uh, mantle uh, leadership as a president. It is time for you that the old one should go and sit down." Do you know after Buhari signed that law? I, 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 I the guy was standing with Buhari when Buhari signed that law that day. One month later, he came out in a press conference. He said, "Yeah, what Buhari said then was true." That we they use now they are not they are not uh, prepared that they should leave this administration they should, the youth should not participate in this election till 2023 you see which means they they bought him over it so is, it if, is, uh, he's trying they are trying to politicize the 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 the, the, the law they have already signed exactly exactly you see they, they they say something but they don't know what implication of what they are saying you see uh, if our so, youth, so, if, if, so if for you, people, Chima, the, 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 the youth, they are capable, they, they can take the, the, the leadership in Nigeria. Yes, yes, they are very, very 100% capable. I give instance of Gowan. You know how many years Gowan is when he becomes, he's not up to 40. 
when you become president? Why do we have adv advisors? Why do we have political advisors? You see, like if you allow this present gov government again to be uh, 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 on board again, man, they you, you you they have jeopardized the whole thing. The youth in that country will suffer. If if this if if now they are suffering uh, fifty percent in second time in second time of this man, they are going to suffer hundred percent. The best thing is for the yeah. strong a vision a leader to take over that country. A very youth and look at what uh, 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 President of France said when he came to uh, Lagos. He said the youth should get involved, but he don't want to say other things. Then yes. if you have wisdom, you know what he's saying. He's saying that the youth, to, the youth should come on board and take over the power from these people. You see? So, but do the, this, this government and the system has made the youth so poor and so lazy and so afraid. That The first thing is afraid. When you are afraid, you have been defeated in every angle. Fear. Fear brings defeat. You see, the youths are, they are, they are not, they are not together. They say one thing today, tomorrow you see, they see another thing. They don't have integrity. And they are not ready. If they are ready, man, I don't, I don't think all these statements, it's not a statement. It's not a statement so, for somebody so to hear. Uh, so how can we bring the youths to be ready? How can we make them so that they will not, uh, they will not be able to, to understand their responsibility, to know their responsibility, in, you know, in the system. Um, uh, I'm asking um, you, Zebedee. Um, um, on that issue, um, on that issue, um, first of all, that law need to be amended. A lot of things need to be added onto that law because the government of Nigeria is not providing any job for the youth, and you pass a bill authorizing the youth to get involved. On that, um, 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 the same standard, the, every political party in Nigeria, their ticket is over 5 million naira. And using, spending 5 million naira without reform and without guarantee that you are going to win is another way to scare the people away. Because the only people that can throw such amount of money away and, look, and just look the other side is the same elite that are siphoning the money of the masses. So if they, if they are passing a bill that not not too young to rule, they got to pass another bill that will make every ticket, every that form, reduce the cost. they will reduce the cost yeah. of every position to be maximum of 100,000 Naira. 50,000 to 100,000 Naira, if you want change in that nation. Because that is the amount that people may join hand together contribute to fight for something you know and on another side yeah. um, as chima just mentioned that the youth fear is the uh, um, 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 capitulation of a, every angle you know when fear enters you you have surrendered without a fight you know and uh, to to yeah. kill this fear it then means we don't need to form one, one million different political parties. What we need is to form organizations within our areas to lecture the youths, to bring them together from university to secondary schools, bring them together, remove the idea of categories, um, who be you, this one. You guys got to come together to take over your nation, work as one. See your fellow Nigerian. No, look, Germans normally use one word. Germans normally says they says no brain is idle, even though on an uneducated person in the village, his ideas count. And when you start underwriting your fellow youths in terms of making grade, then you guys are ready to take over because they at least are dividing the youths using money buying them over changing their tongues and the youth are forgetting that uh, why am i why am i here why am i studying why, why why do i go to school why am i participating in election for what reason should i vote you know what is my target in terms of voting those things doesn't count in their brain again you know they're only focusing on 200 naira they've got to receive or maybe they will be in position to share most of the things that will and keep the remaining and you forgot that whatever you are sharing today, you are sharing the future of yourself and the future of your grandchildren. 
you know so the best answer and the best thing to do there is to form an organization from schools bringing the youth together and togetherness equal do respect to all whether that person has been speaking english or not english is not our language if you come at the another side of it we have our own mother dialect you know so um we should work together come together as one people before we'll be able to defeat these people and press our our senators from various zones you know it is the duty and every youth every zone have the power to summon their senators summon their senators that they should write a bill that will bring down those um, um, um charges five million naira for a ticket are you kidding me you know so that's all i have for you yeah Chema, so I don't know, do, uh, what can we do so that the youth can begin to take responsible, you know, they, they, they have to take the charge. You see, you see, as I said before, one thing is they have crumbled that youth. They made them poor. They keep on making them poor, keep on suppressing them poor. That if so what can we do the, now to, to make what, them what, be active? What, what we are going to do now is First, for them themselves to believe in themselves, that is the first thing. They, those youths, let them believe on themselves first. Because it's just like if, you're, if, you, if you ask somebody, come, let me teach you how to catch fish. And the person you want to teach how to catch fish is not ready. There is nothing that you will show him he will impart in himself. It's for the youth to be ready first why we, we we okay look at i know i know that uh, there is a lot of seminars going on in nigeria carrying the youth along teaching them things that they don't they know but they cannot do due to fear and due to doubts and due to trust you see all these things are going on in that country but yet the youth are not catching they are not catching up you see so let them first believe on on themselves first if they believe on themselves first, anything we, we go, anything we flow. Because it's like I am, for me now, if you ask me to come and do something, I have fear, I am not ready to do that thing. There's nothing you will teach me that I will get, I will learn. And last time I told you people, that country can never come back again. Already they have destroyed, they have tear that, company, that country apart. Nobody can bring that, comp that country back together again. You, you will see, we let's keep on involving the, seeing things coming up. Nobody can bring that country. Okay, okay Chima, thank you. Uh, we, we, we change to another topic. topic. Okay. So, uh, uh, I really thank you, people. So, another topic I would like us to look into is uh, the issue of Nigerian government. They are seeking for foreign investment in Nigeria. So, I don't know. For me, I, I see it as a you know as something that is is wrong because how can leaders who earn so much so much money they are they don't invest in their country and they are seeking for investment. So I don't know. Uh, I don't understand. What do you think about it, uh, Zebedi? <laughs> um, first of all, um, thank you for that question because. Um, um, for for a nation to seek for foreign investors um, uh, you have to have a stable um, 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 government nigeria is not stable nigeria is time bomb you know um, and the investors are they are they are seeing all those things they have their agents um working in nigeria reporting back to them telling them the affairs of the state nigeria is not stable and another thing um if you are calling an investors to come in and the investors want to invest maybe the the area they want to invest is eastern part of the country which nigeria put under hood and under siege and uh, um, the current due to the tribalism that exists in our government and uh, you, you try to tell investors no not that place you have to invest on my area like uh, um, buhari told the uh, world bank that they should focus on on, on northern part of the nation they should not focus on the entire nation. And World Bank started doing what the president says. So um, investor, um, investors will not come because uh, they, they, they themselves are seeing that, um, uh, from example, the Nigerian um, um, uh, senators are the richest uh, senators on planet. 
you know, I mean the federal senate. So if the senators are not ready to put that their money, invest that their money in their own country, nobody will take his hard earning money from another angle to pour it in inside bottomless pit. It will never happen. If you let me give you an example in US. The American senators, all of them invested in their military companies. You know? That's why they keep on passing laws and bills that will protect their own interests in those companies and uh, give sanction to others that want to buy weapons from another side. They should buy it from them so that their own investment will grow. You understand? But Nigerian um, um, senators, Nigerian politicians, Nigerian whatever, what do we have that we are investing well, we are going to show the investor because if it's like you want to buy a house that costs 1 million euro and you want bank to finance it bank will like you to show them at least if he doesn't have you have up to 50,000 euro you know to be able to finance those things so if he doesn't have 50,000 you just want to use bank money to do business just like that it will not work so for investors to come to Nigeria Nigeria first of all got to be a stable nation Nigeria need to unite themselves. Political elites should stop dividing the people and uh, they should eradicate tribalism in the nation because uh, a lot of things that are people, even though the individuals are trying to bring companies into Nigeria. And um, um, the Nigeria would not like to release money that would benefit one part of the nation. They can only release that money if you want to bring that investment to their own territory. That means. <laughs> we are lost as Chema just said before that country can never be the same it can never be one and can never be rescued but for me it can be rescued if we take some certain steps god bless you thank you very much yeah Chema, yeah, what is your view yeah my my view is if a if a president of a country will go and tell a world bank to come and just invest in the northern part of the area which is area does it show that the country wants to unite? No. That's what I was just saying, that that country can never be united. If this kind of tribalism, nepotism, nepotism is from our leader, the top person, the number one citizen of the country, then you can now judge the whole issue. Secondly, again, look at the economy of the country. You just put one side, a uh, seaport to work in just one area, airport to work one we are a country of 180 million people we just have only one airport in lagos working only one seaport in lagos working does it shows that that country is ready to come together it does not show let me give you one example again i wanted to take some containers from korea to nigeria for a business a korean man told me ah yes you said you want to do what? I said, oh, I, 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 this, con this uh, goose, I want to take it to Nigeria to give to some people to, you know, kind of sell and I get my money back. He said, no, that country, that's your country, don't invest in it. A Korean man is not a Nigerian. A foreigner advised me not to invest. If I invest anything, that thing will drain. I will not get it back. Imagine. Look at a foreigner, a foreigner in, uh, advising me you see that shows you leave this leave the propaganda of this apc that they bring so they, they show a network tv nta or channel this investor no investor nobody's investing i give you one instance again if an airline every airline that is operating in nigeria do you know they refuse some of them refuse to carry international passengers in nigeria they go to ghana is that a country I, can, I will count and count and count and count. That is why I said that country can never come back together. Any country that will come back together has a consequences. But they don't want to follow. They don't want to pay their consequences. They don't want to work, work the way it's supposed to be. Because first of all, that law, we have no law in that country. We have no law. Everywhere is fraud. From permanent secretary, to, sec to uh, a, a cleaner in every in, in every uh, department fraud for your for your uh, for your form to pass from table to table 
fraud. So how do you think it will work? No international community will invest in that kind of country. Even I cannot invest in that kind of country because I'm not even sure that my money will come back. So the, the best that country needs and sit as a home of affairs, as a head of that country to bring total reform. And total reform, there must be consequence. And they are not ready for that. The senator cannot... They are not ready for the consequence. The, look at what is happening: Senate, uh, House of Assembly, and the uh, legislature, the, the the executive. They are not even moving together. You see, so we have they have a lot, a long way to go in that country. A and country, a country. Let me let me chip in. A country where where um, um, party chairman will authorize the defense force of the federation to go and block the federal senate, and they will take orders oh. from the party chairman to execute that order without the concept of the um, um, deputy president of the nation. If it, oh my God. Oh my Which means there is no <laughs> law. That is not a good country. That is not a but good in, 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 in that practice, for example, uh, I was watching one program in Channel Television and uh, the governor of Imo State, uh, Rocha Sokorocha, he, you know, he's, he's celebrating uh, something, I don't know, you know, something like, uh, you know, maybe uh, he's, he's good work in Imo State. And he's showing many things, all the investment that he, he has brought to Imo State. And he show he's an investment, he show he's a, he's a, he's a Rochas Foundation, you know, he show all many things that he himself invested in Imo State. So my question now is, is Nigerian politician, the leaders, are they did they really invest in nigeria are they really investing something in nigeria um let me jump in in that issue on that issue i am from imo state and um um <laughs> the issue of uh, the issue of rogers or Korocha is unacceptable um in, 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 in african affairs um rogers or Korocha, let me just give you one story once upon a time, um, Roger Sokorocha uh, was planning to brought in Chinese, so-called Chinese farmers into Imo State. Good. Rogers, we have um, um, IBC Oweri. We have um, a lot of radio stations in Imo State. And uh, we have a lot of channels to inform our people about... Um, um, uh, the, the state government should use to inform the people their plans and what they are planning, what they are what they are planning to do for the state. Rogers, Rogers now um, um, leave Imo State. He Rogers went to Rogers Okorocha now travel to the northern part of the nation and uh, grant interview to Hausa speaking language program. On that Hausa speaking um, program, Roger Sokorocha used Hausa language to inform his state people the plan he has for the state. That he wants to br bring in these people to develop. My father doesn't understand Hausa. Like that, my entire <laughs> communities. They don't know how, they don't understand Hausa. And they don't even know that channel, that television. That television that doesn't even broadcast in Imo State. So that's a leader talking to his people in a strange land with a strange language. One. The second one is this. Roger Sokorocha, there are millions and thousands of abandoned, pro um, abandoned projects that was um, um, abandoned during the times of Umbakwe. You know? In a normal nation, working country that is functioning, any contract that is not finished before a government or the past government finish, the next one that comes in start where they stop and continue. Roger Sokorocha wiped out, dismantled the whole machine that has been already imported and placed in those factories. Where is those machines? Nobody knows it. And now he start telling the communities that not that he's finishing the abandoned property abandoned project of samon bakwe he's scrapping the project and starting okorocha's project did you get that okay now that project he will come in 
drop two um, zinc or two iron and it's finished. Okorocha is not ready and not willing to do what? To um, 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 invest in his state. If he's telling Chinese television or any station that uh, he had been investing, if you move to Imo State, even though Anambra State people are now mocking the Imo State people, Anambra people will, will use their phone. They will go live on Facebook. They will tell you, okay, look look at Anambra Road. They will be driving from Anambra, bordering Imo State. They will drive to their rural areas and you will see that the roads are perfect. Immediately you see goodbye from Anambra, welcome to Imo State. You will see potholes. They will tell you, look at Imo State. Through this way, you will identify Imo State. Anambra people are mocking Imo State that Imo State are foolish people allowing Okorocha to swallow the entire um, allocations that have been sent to Imo State to um, develop their areas. Now, can Okorocha okay. go out and video his projects and his investment in Imo State and show it to the people? Uh, thank, uh, thank you, Chima. If if I may, if I may ask, did Nigerian political leaders are they really investing in Nigeria? In your own view, are they investing in in Nigeria by themselves? Uh, my, uh, yeah, thank you very much for that question. My my answer to that question is no, because I have an idea. Um, the man that passed, just passed away, maybe last year, last two years, uh, Ibori, I oh, know not um, Alamasere. He, you know, he bought a lot of houses in Dubai. He used that to buy some money when he was a governor. If you see what the kind of houses he has in Dubai, if he used that money and come and invest, or oh, just in his state, it will give employment to youths. But you see, because they, they know that the system is wrong, is faulty. And they know that any money they, 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 they invest in that system, it will dry off. That is why you see a politician, after his tenure, go and visit him again two or three years. You see, he will, he, he will become very poor. And if you look at his, uh, his, uh, his appearance, you will know, yeah, yes. You even yourself, you will be asking, is this man a former governor? Because his appearance will look so bad, so you know, so so I don't know how to put it. Because they know that when they invest into that country, because the system is bad, their money they will lose their money. It will go drain off, and they are the ones that made that system like that. And because they know that when they come into power, they go there to drag to siphon the, the state money or the federal money or any or even local government chairman chairman they go there to dry off the the, the resources of that particular uh, place they are so the next thing they are, they fight to the need to get connection abroad to go and invest okay for example article how can you go to america you buy a, if you see the house article have in that in america nobody is living in there it's just only lizard and cat and dog. If they tell you how many millions of dollars that house worth, but he used government uh, government money when he was vice president to go and buy that house. You see? Is it not annoying? Wow. Because they know so, that whatever uh, they put, they made a system like that. Whatever they put there, it will dry off. They, they, they Look at Dangote. Let, let, let me give you an instance of Dangote. Why Dangote move out of Nigeria now? He is going to another neighboring African country to invest. All what he got, his own people, if you see the way they stole from him, because they know that that money investor, he stole it. It was not his own money. He didn't get it very, in, in a good way. He, he, he went, they collided with, the, with, uh, with Jonathan and Obasanjo and other people to buy off some companies that he paid peanut from, uh, to that company. You see? So... When he invested in Nigeria a little bit, he, he he was losing. He was losing the money he invested. Now he he took his company out. If you look at now, he doesn't have much company in Nigeria. It's outside all these uh, African countries. You see, they know the system. They created the system like that. 
So you see, so we if you, even if you encourage them million, if you encourage them, even, come and invest, even, they will not. Uh, uh, my brother Jema, let me just ship something. Um, what of about Ibeto cement? Okay. <laughs> You know, Nigeria doesn't try to create an environment where there will be competition. You know, um, it, during the time of uh, Dangote and Ibeto cement, people, cement is almost 500 naira, isn't it also, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah. That means every poor man can be able to build a house where he, he and his family will be able to hide their head. But today, yeah. it's 2,000 something. What is your you salary see? as a common, um, a normal worker in Nigeria? You know, for you to afford, you must that means you must steal, you must you must siphon, you must commit crime to survive. You know, to survive. And those environment shows you that we doesn't have constitution. You know, Nigerians are fooling themselves. You can never have a constitution <laughs> and the nation is run that way. What Nigeria is using is decree. That's why the president has the highest and the largest order. You know. In a constitutional um, democratic nation, the state government doesn't have any power to abolish gov local government elections. They call it local governments. That means they are independent of the state. So, so the constitution is among the things that is blocking Don't the call investors. It constitution. If you call it constitution, you are you are you are promoting Nigeria as a democratic nation. Call it by its name. Decree. Decree. Period. Yeah, but but right now in Nigeria is considered to be constitution because it is written on it. You it know, is. maybe the, your your okay. interpretation okay. No, to no, it. No, 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 not, not my interpretation, my brother. Who wrote that? Is that the 1963 constitution that we start using the time we, we receive our independent? The time we declare no, the public. Salam. No, this Abdus this Abdus Salam decree. Thank you. And uh, is, were Abdus Salami a uh, civilian president by that time? No, no military. So can a military government write a constitution, or does military write decree? <laughs> that's that, that's what I'm saying. They, that country can never come back together because they know what they are doing. They know what they're supposed to yeah, do, yeah. As a <laughs> but they fail it. I, I, I would like I would like to ask very important I, I, I would like to ask very important question. Uh, almost three and a half years now, you know, Buhari is proud of winning next year election based on he believes that he have done so much in Nigeria. He have done so. He have invested heavily in every sector in Nigeria. Now my question is. In Nigeria, can we locate any investment that was invested? Privately for Buhari. Buhari have any investment in yes, Nigeria? Privately. Yes, yes, yes. I will defend Buhari. Let me let me come on that. 2015, I went to Nigeria. Um, um, by that time, Buhari just entered into power, right? I think I'm, I'm correct, right? Buhari just entered power in 2015. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I do visit Nigerian banks and um, um, other uh, um, um, parastatals in Nigeria. Somebody will help you do something. You will give him maybe 5,000 Naira. A lady See. in the bank will, will, will just take her left eye, look you, and use the left hand and collect it with her thank you. But now, Buhari government have started working. If you give them 50 Naira, they will fall on the ground and say, thank you, sir. Buhari have invested. He have reshoveled Nigeria. Look, many people are campaigning that Buhari should not come back to that seat again. Huh. For me, oh, for me, as, as a bona fide citizen of that country, Buhari should come back as Nigerian president again. Do you know why? I keep on sticking that Buhari should rule Nigeria. In a nation where young president, well-educated, professor, person who understands human rights, person who has value for his people, is ruling his nation. Nigeria keeps on complaining. He's not, he's too soft. He's not hard enough. Corruption, 
there is too much corruption, they need change. That word change. Now, Buhari came as an Awosa man. If Awosa man want to pronounce change, I mean, if Awosa man want to pronounce chain to handcuff somebody, they will call it chain. And Nigerians thought that Buhari was preaching change. They don't know that he's preaching Awochen, the corrupt people. Now, they join hand together, Upper Sanjo and other elites that are thinking that they are the ones that will create who will rule the nation. Join their hand together, push down the government of Jonathan. During the time of Jonathan, I would not, I would not lie, um, up to 30% of people living in Germany relocated to Nigeria with their business. As Buhari took over power, after one week or two months, all of them start picking race. You know? So Nigeria yeah, wants change. Good, there's no new environment. So, so environment. Nigeria but, needs change. But before you, wait to oh, my brother. Yeah, Nigeria, my brother, Nigeria, Nigeria before was crying for change. Before you say, yes, yeah, that means you are, you are telling came. Nigerians to change vote. have come. Even the Mbaka of of Anambra State, God revealed to Mbaka that the blessing that God is giving to Nigeria is Buhari. That uh, good luck is bad luck for Nigeria. Do you want to tell me now that God is now stupid? That God doesn't know the future of Nigeria? <laughs> Men of God, uh, officials, angels, I, I, I would like them. to ask Tima. I like uh, Tima to, to come in. Tima, <laughs> what, what, what is your <laughs> you know, you are How many investors in Nigeria? You know, angels well, visited people, well, revealed to them that the good me, luck is bad let luck. Tima, let, I know. Let me finish. Well, wait. Let's give Tima. Give Tima. <laughs> he said, wait. Uh, angels, our God, men of God, anointed men of God, the blessed tongues of of of, of God, are, are, are now telling us that, as from today, don't try to vote Jonathan because God have revealed to them. What are you not telling me? We must allow this man to continue. <laughs> well, so I cannot, go against, so I cannot go against the will of God. Uh, well, what? What what I want to contribute there is we are all we are all we are we, we are being all gifted by God to prophesy. God can use anybody, and anybody can come yeah, up. But, on, but on, on, why, on the you, why have any investment in Nigeria? Yeah, um, but for me, I score government of Buhari only two percent. He's this administration is the worst based on one that is nepotism, there is tribalism, and there is no truthfulness. Because if you if you follow um, what you call Lai Mohammed, that man that uh, his mother named Lai, and an yeah, other state, state man, all what he does is propaganda. He's just lying, lying. So, government of Buhari has not done anything reasonable because last time I I listened to I listened to who there's one is it Rochas or Kurocha or there's one governor that I listened to he said he, I, let me quote him he said I know it's Amechi wrote me Amechi what he said is all what all the projects they are executing now is Jonathan's projects they have been doing what. They don't want to go for a new project. They are kind of continue under, under continuity of old project. The project that Jonathan did half, or the ones that they started, they couldn't even reach half. That is what they are doing. Like the railway from Abuja to Kaduna, that was Jonathan project. The 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 railway uh, 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 interchanges that uh, no, the railway from. Uh, Abuja Main City to Abuja Airport, Namdaziko Airport, is Jonathan Project. The, if he started naming name even roads, those are even the one that Fire is doing now. Those are Jonathan Project. There is no any project that uh, Buhari will come out with said this is his own project. This is the one that they started. So, so where is our budget? Our budget? Where are they? All the the thing they are budgeting? If the, it is. Yes, uh, they are scamming it. The people, you see, this, these people, these people working for Buhari, Buhari and Co., all of them are 
co corrupt people. They are very, very corrupt. Even his ministers. Tell me, which minister will come and he said he has done one good project? Where is the money? They are siphoning it. All of them are ah, corrupt. Even, even, let, me, let, me, let me come in a little. Um, if you keep on following Nigerian Senate every, every week, you will notice that every month um, the uh, president um, um, bill, um, or would I call it bill or whatever, will always come into Senate for approval. Their kitchen utensils, all the, their kitchens, every month they are now buying new kitchen and new kitchen equipment. Every month, every month, Senate does pass it. Every month they will bring bill of new kitchen, new pot new spoon new plate new cup new every month the same thing will keep on coming in and is it no corruption every month they are buying new vehicle every month new cars a uh, presidential um convoy um, every the same thing keeps on coming every month do you want to tell me that the whole abuja now is now kitchen 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 <laughs> And, and, and let's remember when he came into power, he said, because the, the presidential has many aircraft, he said he's going to sell it. I remember when, when Adiola, keeping the real, interviewed him. He said when he just get power, he's going to sell off the whole aircraft. That is too much for president. Now, has he even sell one? He has not. <laughs> so, he's, so he's, if I may ask you, Chima, for you, Buhari, Buhari has done nothing, nothing. in terms of in life in Nigeria. Nothing. And likewise, too, Buhari has done nothing. For me, but Buhari have invested too much in Nigerian lives. Look at our people. Ah. Look at, it's what, what, what size, but even Buhari himself, even Buhari himself is a corrupt man because why would you, in this Western world, all of us are living in this diaspora. Who is that prime, like, like in my own way no, I'm living yeah, now? Yeah, I live in king, Nigeria. Sorry, sorry, my king went to the hospital. The hospital showed all the whole nation what he's suffering, what the uh, surgery is going to is going to uh, to the doctor is to perform to him. They showed us his kidney. They showed everything. Why they asked? They, somebody went to court and said Buhari should declare how much he has spent in the hospital. He refused. It's not corruption. It's corruption. So I don't know why so, these people are afraid of uh, him to tell him to his face. They are afraid of him. Yeah, to tell him to say to our country. Is, I is like, it not I like us to, yeah, I understand your, your point there. I would like us to discuss now a very important thing. Uh, it's about 2019 election that is coming. And uh, we, we, we know that the, 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 the Senate president, the Senate uh, House of Representatives and the, the Parliament, they are absent now. And the, the bill for, you know, the cost of the election material, you know, or like the I they submit uh, their cost of the ele uh, the election cost, you know, and the bill has not been been approved by the Senate because of their vac their invocation, you know. So now, what do you think about the cost of the the the, the, the next year election, uh, Zebedi? Do you think is is we are investing too much in election? Um, first of all. We are not, there is nothing like election in Nigeria. <laughs> what they are doing there is manipulating their people. In advanced world, those things don't normally pass through Senate again. You set up your system. You set up your system. Do you know that a nation is supposed to be running like a human organ without you as a person interfering? Nigeria, due to their corruption, they don't want their, gov their country to run like a normal system. Because bringing that bill to Senate, you got to lobby for that bill to pass, isn't it also? Yeah. Lobbying is advanced world in terms of calling of bribery. You have to bribe people to pass that bill if you want to use um, our normal language on the state. Why must it be always passing well, why must all those things must be passing through senate so that that money they are putting out for election if it's supposed to normally be 100 naira it then means 
you have to make it 1,000 Naira because you have to bribe senators to pass that bill to come into effect. They are watching their backs. This person watch my back, I watch your back. And they will come out and make the people to believe that they are having differences or having misunderstanding. These people doesn't quarrel. Do you know those that quarrel, that have misunderstanding? It's me and you. The people on the street are the ones fighting. The elites are more than united. That's why corruption keeps on floating and flourishing in Nigeria. You know? No, now, um, passing a bill uh, to approve uh, um, 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 election bill, let me give you an example. INEC said that they have dished out all the whole materials and the resources they need to register people in various communities and rural areas. Is it not so? In yeah. my community, in my community, I will mention my my local government, Ihite Obama local government in Imo State. That issue um uh, INEC offers. The people working there are in their need of food to eat, first of all, to sustain them for eight good hours of the day. They don't have generator to power the equipment to register people. They don't even have money to carry the equipment and move to various communities to register people. And you will come back and tell me who become the governor of Imo State. Who voted the thing? <laughs> <laughs> So, oh. what, what do you think about the cause, you know? Yeah, it's just um, the same people, the elite, the same group, continuous siphoning the whole money and continue putting, appointing people. Because as long as that country is concerned, there's nothing like election. They just appoint people. Those people that are the same cacus. They know, like, like now... 2019. They know who to who. They know who to put at the same at the uh, at the right at the play uh, the right place. They want that person to I, be. I, are you trying to say that the, the, the vote of the people is not counting? If it's it does not, not count, I, why? I think we argue with that. Like they spend money. Yeah. We I, I we argued I argued this in the last time with other votes of people don't count. Yeah, they but know, they pay they money. They, 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 they buy vote. So if the vote does not count, why did they have to spend money to buy vote? I don't I, because that let is me, how they make me, the system. Let me, to do. let me come in a little on that side. Um, uh, maybe a state population, those that registered in that vote is ten thousand. Example, you know, on that ten thousand, those that are in power try to secure they are winning is it not so they will yeah. try to maneuver this nigeria do you know the language nigeria understand most is manipulation and lie they will bring out let's say two hundred thousand naira share it to people go there and buy vote while the original vote okay let me let me let me let me use the best one during the time that obasanjo wanted to become nigerian president huh are you there? Are you guys following? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Nigeria gave um, South Africa the um, contract to produce Nigerian voters' um, 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 ballot um, cards and everything. You know? Do you know that um, South Africa are still printing the, our voting um, documents and the ballot system and everything? Obasanjo has become president of Nigeria. Did you hear me? That, 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 that is why I said the, the same people. They the know company that received the contract to print papers where you got to press your fingers. They are still printing, collected. They have paid them or they paid the company. Everything is moving. South Africa now believe that Nigeria is practicing full democracy. Before the company supplied those things, Nigeria have conducted election and Obasanjo have won. Where did those things come from? The first sample they received they now do photocopy and press fools their destiny and do their thing, blah, 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 and that's it. 
That money they pay to South Africa is rubbish for them. It's only manipulating the brain of the people. I can remember, even though three years after Obasanjo winning, South Africa government is still calling Nigeria to come and carry their ballot, whatever. <laughs> like, but, example, but, uh, uh, produce one, one, one man, of all one, man one man, one man where they, they he said that uh, well, there's one comedian, they said that uh, he's inside plane from New York, traveling from Nigeria, moving to New York, inside the plane, there is one American, European, um, and uh, Japanese. They were talking about their political system. Japanese said that they are into digital, that uh, if they are voting, that um, um, in minute or some minutes, people will see the result. And um, uh, American man says um, they are also um, more advanced, that their own, the more they vote, people are seeing the voting counting on the screen directly. So as soon as pool close, you know already, you have already know the winner. European said that, uh, yeah, their own is still a little, a little bit delay, maybe one or two days, then the final result. And the Nigerian man just stand up and say, you guys are foolish. We believe in God, our own is spiritual. Before election, <laughs> president was. You know? <laughs> you know? Before election, president has already taken power. So they have already... You know? That to tell you that, our own work in higher that, spirit. That, 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 that is what I'm telling you. They know what they are doing. They are just voting. They are just implement uh, uh, voting the money, and they say, "Okay, this is our, uh, we have allocated this money for this thing." They are just doing it just for people to say, "Okay, the system is still working." The system is not working. They are the nothing. The system is. If you look at very well, Buhari did not win 2015 election. I and you know that. You sure? I am but uh, Jonathan. Jonathan accepted a Buhari win. Make that Buhari, is that, make Nigeria that, 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 test that thing. Make no, no, that, 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 that is how they plan. That is how it was planned. It was, no, well, did not win before, election. My brother, before Jonathan election, na, the Nigeria went to war with any state. No. During yeah. Jonathan government, do we have war inside Nigeria? No. no. Then why should before election Jonathan and Buhari went and signed peace accord? Oh, that is it. They made that system. They already America. America. What Obama have told Jonathan to step down. If you look at before that election, Kerry Kerry went to the to Sokoto State and made meeting with uh, Emirs. Why 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 did they make that meeting? Already America have told Jonathan we will not support you. We will not stop. That made it clear to him. You see? Wow. Buhari did not so, win. Like, uh, they know. Even, even uh, I'm, 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 uh, uh, that, that lady. I'm on call, they I'm on call of CNN. They, 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 okay. they, they turned their Nigerian um, program into, into campaigning for um, Buhari and they're telling you how corrupt Jonathan is. Today, where is Amam? Where is CNN? Uh-huh. But, 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 but. They are interfering what? in Nigerian affairs and they are now punishing Russia that Russia made uh, Trump to win. But they are the one changing the government of every nation. I think we should interfere in American own election. This one that is coming, Democrats should not smell the power of the United States. Republicans got to win again. And after Trump, Republicans must win again. We must interfere on the, until they tell the world, sorry, we will not interfere in your affairs again. <laughs> So, uh, uh, my brother, I, I, I thank you for that. <laughs> I, I would like to talk this, 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 this issue is a very important issue to recall. It's the it's a, a eastern part of Nigeria, you know, they, they believe that they have been marginalized and they believe that what they needed now is a cessation because I think it was this during this week. Uh, some some one hundred and something women were were stopped in Oweri and they were taken to to prison for protesting. I call it protest for protesting for their for their right because the country has been unfair to them. So, but we all know that IPOB is a very strong movement in Nigeria, and as Nigeria is now. They have the numbers and they have the, the majority. They are millions in number because they control all the eastern region. Almost 
the whole eastern region. Now, the issue is this. You know, as a strong member of uh, Take It Back movement and uh, a supporter of uh, Omoele Shore, you know, I'm, 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 I'm advising my, my own candidate, the person I, I, I am I am I'm backing, you know, because I really want uh, a new system of government in Nigeria. I really wish we can rebuild Nigeria. So that's why I'm supporting this young man called Omoele Shore. So I've been trying to get him, you know, I've been sending messages, doing some videos to enlighten him, to enlighten him more, you know, in this issue. So, because I would like him to, to, to see the, the leaders of IPOB because he really need to focus more attention in the southern, in the, in the eastern region uh, of Nigeria. You know, and I send him a message that he really need to work with Kinsley Morgan, you know, the, 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 the presidential aspirant under YPP. You know, I think I said one of them should become vice to one of them. So my question now is this. Uh, Zebedi, how can this Omoele come across? How can he be able to meet the IPOB leader so that he can, he can negotiate with them, like something like negotiation? Because Buare has... You know, uh, Buhari is not ready to negotiate. He has been using force against the, the innocent citizens of Nigeria, even though they are still in Nigeria, but I don't know. Zebedi, what do you think? Thank you very much for that question. Um, first of all, um, let me go straight to uh, the affairs that happen in Imo State. I am condemning what the uh, state government and the federal government are doing to those women. Because I believe that uh, every citizen of a nation has his own right to um, protest whenever um, things are not moving the way they want it. Um, arresting the women that didn't use violence on anything is against uh, every human right um, um, convention that Nigeria put their signature upon, both in Africa and uh, beyond. Um, in terms of uh, um, the man you are supporting, um, I don't know why my spirit is not accepting that guy. You know, I have to tell you the simple truth. Because uh, when I looked at that guy, I see Abiola. You understand? Um, because uh, Abiola said that uh, he will rule Nigeria even though without Igbos. You know? And the Omo Oleo Showore. He keeps on ignoring the eastern part of the nation. You know, <laughs> um, you want to rule the entire nation, entire Nigeria. Your group is made up of only your tribe, majority your tribes, minority <laughs> other tribes. One, there he fell it um, because uh, all the agendas will always be the Yoruba agendas, which we know very well. Second one is this, Omolo Shewere. He's the owner of Sahara Reporters. Sahara Reporters, since the killings of Igbo people in Nigeria, he have never ever reported one in his platform. And uh, I know that a lot of Igbo people are working under his company. And I believe that those Igbo people would like to write about their area. But as the general commander-in-chief, he will try to step on it and step it down. And um, all the affairs of the Eastern region have never been discussed nor revealed in his platform. And he has never ever opened his mouth to say anything that will put um, back in, 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 in any affairs of the Eastern part of the nation. So, Omo Ole Shoure, um, to, meet in, uh, to meet IPOB. I know that IPOB ha will have a very good message if he dares to near them. Um, for me, he should not try it because if he try it, he will <laughs> he will uh, he will try to mark them bad. The more that uh, if he enters into power, he will he will do more than uh, Buhari did. Don't forget that Obasanjo is the one that uh, jailed was really during his time, you know, and. Um, Yorubas are the problem that we are facing in Nigeria, not Hausa. Hausa have never been the problem of Eastern region, you know. 
um, the the Yoruba people, um, I will I will put it this way, not all Yorubas. Um, when you say when you uh, not, uh, this is what let, I want. Let me come. Not all Yorubas, but uh, majority <laughs> the Yoruba elites. You know. I can remember the time Obasanjo is still in power as the commander in chief of the federation. Obasanjo visited eastern part of Nigeria. By that time, the business that was running in eastern part that time was shoe, imported shoe from Indonesia. Most of you can remember. And those business made our people um, grow fast, you know. And they were building mansion, estate, everywhere, four, four decking, four story building, two story building, all over on nature, you know. So, Basanjo visited Anambra State by that time. And he tried to praise the governor of the state that, wow, you are doing a very marvelous job by developing your state to this level. And the governor um, happily said that, oh, Mr. President, I'm not the one. It is my people, the business people. He said, business people are doing this. What are they doing? He said that they are they mostly, most of them are these shoe importers from Indonesia. He said, wow, that good, that's good. At least the money they are making, they are investing that money in the nation. The governor thought that he was talking to a human being. <laughs> you know that Obasanjo returned to Asorok and the first thing that happened in, in that area is to pass a bill banding the entire shoe importation to Nigeria. It was Obasanjo. And uh, wow. our brother by that time was the governor of uh, Central Bank, if I'm not mistaken. What is his name again? Um, Saludo. 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 Saludo is the governor of Central Bank. And um, Obasanjo now called in on Saludo to bring in um, people who are capable to draft a bill that will promote business in Nigeria. And Saludo, foolishly, they drafted the bill finished and Obasanjo and his Yoruba elites amended those bill and now passed a bill that blocked the entire seaport, airport of eastern region, turned all of them to local. Pressing the entire investment in eastern region back to Lagos. If you want to survive, if you want your business as an importer, doing business in eastern region, if you import 50 or let's say 20 trailers, um, um, that's containers of goods, and they are being transported by road to east, three or four will fall on the road, isn't it also? And the remaining may reach. You are losing. And what are you going to do? You'll be forced to move your business back to Lagos. Look at Nigeria today. Look at Lagos. My brother, Chima, you mentioned it before. The seaport, yeah. a whole a country like Nigeria that has over 200 million people are be fed by one person, Dangote. Their importation is be, be, okay. being passed through one channel, that is Lagos. The largest travelers and business travelers are the eastern part of the nation. They don't have anything international airport. Every plane that goes to East must land in Lagos or must land in Abuja before they will transit to that area. No direct flight from Europe or from any part of the world to that corner of the planet. No, no ship will load in, in German and offload in Portacot or Ne or Calabar. Are we a nation? That nation is, we shouldn't call it a nation. That is concussion. So the tapped yeah. country. Yeah, I, I understand, you know, what you are telling me now, you are, you are, normally you are just, uh, you are analyzing the problems that, uh, you know, that, that has been affecting the Eastern region. Yeah. And uh, now, that is, uh, by that this, is by why this I say now, you will understand that Showere will still follow the full step because the people, the young people behind Showere, look, we, on, I understand Yoruba very well. Yoruba people respect their elders more than anything you they may decide we take it back with full force we want to take over nigeria but whenever their elders just shake their throat <clears> throat they will sit down and listen to him and when that man finished talking they will take 95 percent of his advice implement it it then means selling dog buying monkey you are still buying the same thing that to, to, Use Nash, Nash as <laughs> you are still buying your yeah. uh, 
Chema, uh, Chema, I don't know what, what is your view in this because you know, you know me, you know my, my view, you know my stand because I am a strong follower of uh, Take It Back movement yeah. and uh, I support Omaele Shore, you know, to be the next president of Nigeria because there, there is something that convinced me because he's, 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 he's an honest man for, my, for me, you know. He's a politician. I understand the point ZBD raised. <laughs> I know, I understand your point. So my question now, Chima, is, as you know, I believe that he is not a tribalist person. He believes in one Nigeria and he wants to build a new Nigeria that we, we all will be proud of. So I'm advising him to try to meet with the IPOB leader so that he can be able to discuss, you know, to dialogue with them and find out why are they agitating for their own nation. Be you know, so, Tima, you can go on. Yeah. My view to that is, first, you have to know a monkey is always a monkey. A monkey can never change with a snake or anything. I'm sure he's a Yoruba man. And we know yeah. how, yeah, we know if you come to the history of Nigeria, you will know the role that Yerubas play. I'm sure if you make him a president, then he will still, be, he will still behave like a passenger. I'm telling you, he's not coming what, there. What assurance? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm, can you yeah. prove that? I'm sure is not coming to give Igbo man or Eastern region a good, a, a, a roses, uh, 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 administration or coming to carry them along, he cannot. He will still because if, if, yeah, why is Nigerian problem? Many are from Yerbas. Yerba destroy Nigeria because yeah, Yerba. Don't say all listen, Yoruba. Listen, you say listen, it. No, you don't. Listen, I, I am a, listen. Majority carry the vote. Majority carry the vote. If your no, man is, say, if your are 100, sorry. 100, 90 yeah. percent destroy Nigeria, and which means no, your I, I yes. agree with you, because so, you cannot prove. Uh, I have uh, 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 Chema, Chema, Chema. Let me Okay. Eh? Um, um, they said that um, by their fruit we shall know them. You we know shall know them. Um, um, Omosha um, is not is not is not an, is, is, is not coming from the moon. Yeah, yeah. He's Sunday. still a Yoruba man. Sunday. Let yeah. Me, let me Yoruba down. people. Let me you ask yeah. me to contribute. Yeah, you will contribute, my brother. I just want to put cheap something. Um, yeah. Um, during the time Nigeria was um, 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 Nigeria become independent, you keep on hearing. Awolo was prisoned and Ojibwe oh. released him. But nobody <laughs> has ever told you what did Awolo did that made them to prison him. If you will be able to figure out what happened, you will know that that problem Awolo will try to instigate that time is what I, um, Abiola did with uh, uh, Bangida and it's the thing that keeps on happening to today. Even even Sunday, Sunday, can you mention yeah. two or three people or even to ten people here about that has invested in in Igbo land? Can you please tell me? Nobody. No, you know. No, no, no. no are, if, I, wait, wait. I, 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 I grew to, up. Okay. I grew up. In, I grew up in Onitsha, you know, okay. and I know about. I know about Igbo land. There are many. There are many Yorubas in 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 Onitsha. They are doing okay. business there. And they have big house. They have maybe they they, they, they are not like the Igbos in Lagos, but yeah, they, they are they are doing they are doing well there. You understand? So, but the, my point is that that you do, you don't refer to Yorubas, you know, because you know that you know their names. You know the people who no, have been no, if, who if, have been. If, 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 if you want, sorry, sorry, if you want to do statistics, you take you do statistics by number, right? You but you cannot generate. No, on, on no, yes, everybody. but 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 those ones that are good are just in 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 minority. They are not in majority. The ones the ones that are divided and rule, it is their job up to now. They are in majority. A Yoruba man, the last thing a Yoruba man want to see an Igbo president. I'm telling you, it's a truth. It's a fact. If you don't like, if you don't like, don't accept the truth. The last thing a Yoruba man will see an Igbo president. A Yerba man will walk against that to his grave. Then, 
Why? That hatred. That natural hatred. Why? Why? Why they will go against it? Why? Because that's what I'm telling you. That natural hatred. If you look at the role Awolowo will play during that uh, war or Zik time or before the war, did he play any role in favor of the Eastern? Hand? No. Yeah, that that is Awolowo. Is has nothing to contribute he still have godfathers here of us that we ask him look do this do this he abide by it omar cannot come and say look i don't abide by this i will do something based on my principle i must put an evil man as a best vice president or i must put an evil man as this or i must uh, the seaport in the east will open or do yeah, you know, this is. This, let, 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 let me, no, let me tell you let me, Do you know why? You, you know why the seaport in the east not functioning? It's here of us, see, not outsiders. See, see, let me. I want to ask you. See, ma, wait. I would like to ask you again. That is the reason I say, let him try and meet the leaders of IPOB, like all these things you name now. It can be discussed with with him. And if um, we be an agreement, um, um, they will sign You can wait, wait, somebody, 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 sorry, okay. Okay. sorry, wait. You can discuss, they can discuss, but discuss is not the issue, it's implementation. Come and implement. Yeah. You will discuss, you will say you will discuss and go rapport with him and agree with him, but what of time for implementation? He will fail you. They are not sincere people. Yes. Yerbas are not sincere. They are too no, you don't They are too. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. you don't I have I, had the experience. Oh, you don't I'm I, telling you based on strong. experience. I am a I am telling you based you on don't. experience on this. Sorry I am saying that. Yeah. But I am telling you based on experience. You see? Okay. So are you, I'm are you right now. He will tell you. Are you trying to say that I am sincere? Um, what I'm saying? I'm only telling you something. I'm not telling you something. Are you trying to say that me as a Yoruba guy, I'm, I'm also unsincere. I'm not sincere. Um, 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 well, I, I won't, no, no, no. I'm not. I'm, I, I won't say on your own side, but me, I am telling you based chairman. on what I have seen. Um, Politically, business-wise, and all these, uh, 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 mm, they are prominent politicians. I know many of them. I've, I've, yeah, I've you know them. them. Do you, don't them. Of them. you don't generalize all the tribe. Not You yeah. cannot add no, all no, the no. tribe. No, no. Yes, I will not generalize. I'm telling you, majority side, on majority, majority side, on majority side, on majority side, I'm no, but I'm telling you on majority side. I'm on majority Sunday. side. Look at what they do. You Same discuss with them like this. They can you come like in? This, they fail you. Okay. Um, if Eurobars say that uh, they want, they they are not the way we are placing them. Um, look at Nigerian um, um, security forces and everything. The Igbos are being pushed out before the Yorubas. Our sons cannot dominate Nigeria without the alliance of Yoruba. Exactly. And the Yorubas have been in that position because what they want is to be in that position. They are afraid that if Igbos get what they are looking for, not even independent, you know, if Igbos get into power, that their um, um, business and uh, everything they do will die off because I was a man focused on oil. I was a man doesn't focus on the affairs or business of an Igbo man. The people that focus on the Igbo business is the Yorubas. And the people, the, Yorubas, that, the people that, are gaining, that are gaining from Igbo's uh, um, um, comments at the Yorubas. My brother, I keep on saying it every day. If you live in Lagos, travel on December time, travel to Lagos on 1st of December. Lagos will be bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. Everywhere will be bubbling. Boss or loyal should be uh, everywhere. But go, go stay there until 24th night and come out again in that area. It will it will look like ghost town. Europeans, they say that Lagos belongs to them, right? If Igbos travel on the 24th night, you come out 24th, maybe 25th morning. Lagos is like ghost town. And think when the whole seaport in eastern region is open and business balance in Nigeria normally, the people that will lose the more are the Eurobars because Awosa is oil. Oil is floating. Oh, yeah. 
Igbos will now regain their independence inside Nigeria, and the people that will lose and go back to farm work are the Yorubas. So, Sunday, you see, I'm making points. I told you, the Yorubas are, are the problem of Nigeria. They are the one. They are the one block you, everything. You want, Look, you, let, let me tell you one thing. Let me give you another example. IBB ruled Nigeria for how many years? Eight years, right? Or more? Or nine? More. Okay. IBB, during the time IBB was ruling Nigeria, Cameroon was raising hand to take Bakasi. And IBB would just look up and they would run away. Abacha came into power. The same thing, they couldn't. But the Salami came into power. Cameroon didn't even dare to near Nigerian territory. Obasanjo came into power, Yoruba man. Because of greedy of third third tenor, Obasan just signed Bakasi to come around for international oh. to allow him to rule Nigeria at the time. You see? These people he signed to Cameroon, they have representative in Nigerian Senate, which the law says you dare not tamper the territory of the Federation. It's out of war. He then is Obasan just committed treason in allowing that land to succeed to Cameroon. Okay, don't you see what those people are suffering now? Those Bakasi people, the they are suffering. They, they don't want to take the citizen of Cameroon, the, the nationality of Cameroon, to today. To today? Is the gendarmes are Obama? killing them, even though it's people from the river that normally go there and fight the gendarmes a little. Nigerians went mute. Look at Palestinian and, and, and uh, Gaza and West Bank fighting Israel because of territory. Have United Nations ruled that? place have then hammer it out look at china without all the whole issues that issue have been there for decades why do they rush to finish our own under three months under three months because of the what, greedy what? of one person who is that person he's a yoruba motherfucker they don't care no, anything uh, my brother not uh, I'm, I'm, sorry, what, what, sorry. Uh, uh, Sunday, I just I'm talking Omolo, about the elite. Omolo Shori, Omolo Shori is just parading. I'm talking about he's just the parading himself. And Omolo he's just Shori, parading himself for nothing. Ifushori. I know he will not going to win. Yeah. He will not going to win. And he, if he has money to buy a form of ten million as a presidential aspirant, he's just wasting that money for nothing. My brother, if so he's they, not going to win. So he's Nigeria not going back. to go anywhere. If he's if just so wasting they, his time. Yeah, if so will they take Nigeria back Sunday, he will hide on that chair. Because he here, cannot, he if cannot he take, even. If he take it back, for example, you will see those Yoruba people chewing their chewing stick in the village, just watching. They don't talk. <laughs> All of them will not carry their rapper Agbada and Tasorok. You will see that the show will. He will today. not. He will not even do the that. Where you know today, he cannot. You go say what did happen for Nigeria? Sunday, Nigeria. I don't, I don't. Sunday, listen to me. I don't hate him. I don't do. I, but, but you see, that is why you see. We, we that is alive now, we have to play a good role for our future generation. So when they see themselves, they will love themselves. The Yoruba has killed the love that each of every tribe has in that country. Yes, because if you know how much, how, how many jobs that people in the east, in the ports, in the seaport they have lost because of Lagos, how can Lagos be serving 180 million people? It, it's impossible. You yeah, say uh, everything is seaport. Uh, everything is uh, uh, Lagos port. Yeah. It's impossible. Uh, and, uh, team, I understand you people point so much. I understand everything you said. All basic. I understand all. But let me make it clear to you. Showore is not a tribalist man, and he is not coming to become Nigerian president to Are profit you in his one. Heart? Are you in his heart? Yeah. Let me He's finish. Just I know. To you. He's just I, I know. A politician. Are you no. in his heart? Let me tell you the reality. I know I, I am supporting him. Before I support him, if Sunday. I don't know anything Sunday. about him. Sunday. If you are let the me one. just finish. Wait, wait, Sunday. If you are the one, if you are the one that is coming out of that position, I will, I, will, I will call on my family to stand behind you because I know you. But this guy that runs television program and they have his own news that doesn't even report any atrocity that happened in Eastern region yeah, against he, the he, people. He reports. He never reports. He reports. He reports. He reports. He reports. He reports. He's a travelistic man. He's the one that, that interviewed Namdekan when he was around in his house. 
Is is Sahara reporter that in, that interviewed Nam the Khan? That the goes around okay, the, the, the killings. Lot of the the killing. damages. What are the damages? killings? He, he, the killings. The, yes. When the Operation Python dance came to to, to Nigeria, and uh, he is the one that was he is the one that cover all. The, 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 there are some Igbo guys that they they, they were turning in uh, in Poto Poto, you know, in swamps. Yeah. He's the one that it. is I the one. It. The killings. Uh, is, is the one that is the that, that Sahara reporter that Sahara reporters is news. Every breaking news in Nigeria is supposed to report it. Even though the um, 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 uh, Amnesty International shows the one that we are sh shooting people, many news carry them. Sahara reporter oh. did not even copy yeah. it. And just right. uh, okay, okay, okay. Sunday, Sunday, let me, uh, let, me uh, uh, let me give you let me give you okay, one let me let me, let me let me give you one example for you to know and hear your man. You know during Jonathan time, do you know they betrayed them, Jonathan? That is why if you look at Jonathan administration, there is no any that I don't think the Yoruba people are much there. He be, they betrayed Jonathan. You see? So if you think you and them are they are with you, they are not with you. Even those Chima, people, I, I want even Chima, those people. Or Basanjo, no, 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 no. was 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 the president of uh, PDP. Uh, um, uh, uh, this uh, PDP um, something council. As uh, No, the uh, council that anybody who rule the country, if you come out, you will hold that position. Um, Obasanjo yeah. now write a resignation letter to um, um, Jonathan. Jonathan accepted it. Mm. Obasanjo went mad. Mm. He said that. Imagine. I think saying go reject and make it, make her continue. Yeah, hey, this man just accept him. I said this man must go down. <laughs> and as he said, this man must yeah, go okay. down. The man go down immediately. He used every tool in his position to fight Jonathan. Look at Nigeria today. Where is Obasanjo? No, they don't have uh, good legacy. Brother. Here, Bam, they don't uh, have uh, good legacy. Let me just let me talk. Have, they don't have uh, any let good me legacy. Talk. My Honestly. brother, let me talk. Uh, you know, in this issue, let me talk. Let me talk, please. In this issue of Shower, let me tell you, I know, I understand what you, what to, uh, both of you are talking about. I understand the pain and I understand everything that is is playing. Shower, that is why I'm saying I'm I'm been doing my best so that it will balance his his movement because me as I'm speaking to you now i've been sending messages making videos which i know by now it would have gotten to him you understand because i want him to balance the equation so that it will be a 50 50 change whereby no tribe will will, will, will be will be will be left alone you know will be will be left behind you understand so everybody need to get involved because his, his mission is to take back nigeria and but 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 uh, so, uh, in, in what is happening? What is on the ground now? Do you know? Do you know the set is uh, zoning? The presidency is zoning, and it's still the turn of the north. So how do you think a uh, area will come and take over no, uh, the matter of uh, leadership? Be, uh, mm. bro, because of the time, because of the time, we are running out of the time. There is yeah. nothing like zoning in Nigeria. Zoning is not in the constitution. It yeah, is but the, that is what is happening. Yes, it's not in the constitution. But if you look at what is happening now. It is a northern man that will be president. If, if for me, I want Buhari to go, but if Buhari go, is another northern man will come. I am telling you because uh, uh, if, you brother, because of, so, if you come we, in terms we, of politics, we, we, even the youth, we have, even the youth in the north, they are divided. We they cannot we, vote. We, um, we have, not, they cannot vote for Moshiri. You know that one. You know it. You know it. They cannot vote for Moshiri. The youth, the northern youth. That is, that yeah, that is that is why we that is why I'm sending message to him because he need the Ebos now because without the Ebos, it's impossible to win the next year election. So but we, uh, cannot vote, uh, we can so we cannot vote for him because if they so have not been there for us. If the so Ebos have not been there for us, um, so we cannot give him our vote. Chima. We, we no, no. Vote. The only thing, the only thing I think she yeah. needed to if do so is to improve the relationship. To improve anything, he has to let Shore contact us. Let exactly. Him contact us. Let's rub shoulders. Let's hear from the horse's mouth. Not be this camera television show. Personal discussion. Let us iron things out. I am nobody. We are nobody. But we can make changes. If he uh, yeah. is not arrogant, then we we'll move ahead, my brother. Um, we should, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Because of time, we have to close. Yes. Um,
Uh, my people, thank you for today's uh, um, um, show and uh, my brother Sunday. Uh, I really appreciate your topic. Today is very powerful. Um, brother Chema, the contribution yeah. is very solid, you know. And uh, our viewers out there, thank you for visiting. Uh, I would love you to like um, Nigerian Insider, share it, invite more people to join our show. We hold this show every Saturday, every weekend. Please be part of it. Subscribe, like it, follow us. And uh, click on the button of notification. As soon as we come live, you will be following. And most of you that would like to join our discussion, please contact us through uh, Facebook and uh, we will be able to look into it and choose the programs you would like to fit in. God bless you. God bless you all. God bless you. Yeah, talk to your people, give them their last words so that uh, <laughs> we call it a day today. Sunday. Sunday, are you there? No. So, Mr. Chema, please tell the viewers your last uh, word then so that we close for today. Yeah, my, my last word to our viewers is our topic today we, we we treated this matter with open-minded and um, with truth. We all know what is going on in that country. We need unity, but we must work for it. And we need the youth to stand up and do what it is right, what they're supposed to do without fear. They have, our youth are very, very afraid. So we need them to stand up and do what is necessary for them to take back that country. Thank you. Thank you. Sonda, are you back? Sonda, are you back? Okay, um, Sonda is not there. So my people, um, all, whatever we are saying here is our private opinion and we are not being influenced by any group or anybody. We are open to every discussion. If you have any topic that you would like to chip in, um, chip it in or send it to us. We we'll also discuss on that matter. And uh, Chima, Sunday, and me, Zebedi, the host, um, we are open-minded people. We don't choose side. We are only uh, um, analyzing the things the way we see it. Uh, not that uh, it should uh, have any effect on the, any moves that you people are making. God bless you. Sunday, are you back? Sunday is not there, so let's call it a day. God bless you all. Remain blessed and thank you for watching.